Hey guys, here I am in front of the um, webcam and wanted to share a little something if you haven't heard recently about the final version of Windows 10. Even though the re most recent version of Windows 10, of course, is 22H2. So those of you who have to stick with Windows 10, you want to keep in mind that version 22H2 is a is the final update for, but you're still going to get like your regular security updates and all your other important updates until 2025. Unless if you're using a some paid, unless you get get some kind of paid support through Microsoft. Because not many people can run Windows 11 if they wanted to on. Because most computers that come with Windows 10 aren't able to run Windows 11 due to not having the right processor speed, not enough RAM, or having TPM 2.0 to be exact. And I'm going to even leave a link in the article if you want to read more. So, But if some computers that come right with Windows 10 are able to get the Windows 11 upgrade as long as it can meet the um, Windows 11's requirements. So if you want to upgrade to, if you have, if you still on Windows 10, your computer can run Windows 11 without no issues. So that would be a good that would be a, a good opportunity right now to go ahead and upgrade. If you want to be able to get security updates and. Be able to run like certain newer programs that may not be able to work with Windows 10 to be exact. Even though recently Windows 8.1 support had ended a while back, and some people are, are slowly making that leap to Windows 10 without even knowing that the Windows 11 release is, is out already. Because although Microsoft, they also they right now in the getting ready to have Windows 12 in the works. So I, if you're um, basically, if you got a computer that you bought brand new with Windows 10, I highly recommend go ahead and upgrading to the Windows 11. Because you'll probably have better support. And some more security fixes, but uh, if you want to do Windows 10, you could possibly do it in like a virtual machine if you need to, or have like a dedicated Windows 10 computer laying around if you're wanting to use Windows 10 for certain programs that you can't run in Windows 11. Because Microsoft is already releasing another update some as at the, for the second half of Windows 11 in 2024. So what I'm reading right here that the only set, the only ver I know Microsoft they're going to still be able to support like the LTC the LTSC versions for a little while. And I just wanted to share this little info without, out, for those of you that are still rocking Windows 10 and, or th that's thinking about doing the Windows 11 upgrade. Just a little something to keep in mind. So, hope you enjoyed this little helpful video and thanks for watching.